uh, coming to you from the living room again. And uh, if you're new to my page, uh, and obviously my page is pretty new itself, uh, you may not know that I do a lot of painting as well as uh, building the guitars and working on cars and that kind of stuff. And so I thought I'd give you a few examples of some of my artwork, and uh, we can look at them a little better later. But uh, the lighting's not the greatest in here. And if you need to see better images, you can look up my Facebook page at Ramblin' Around uh, and look at my photo album, uh, or you can look at DeltaBluesClassics.com. Uh, and I've got some of my stuff up there. Uh, anyway, real quick here. This is just some of my kind of kept from my own collection. Uh, I got a little portrait of my nephew from a couple years ago. Um, this is Jordan with one of his first fish over there. Uh, that's, that was kind of a painting of the corner of the pond out here. Um, this is one I did recently uh, of my nephew. He plays a uh, lead guitar in a rock band. Uh, currently they're called the Small Town Boys uh, but they're getting close to, to signing a record deal and they're actually gonna uh, change their name and uh, I'll update you with that info at a later time. Uh, the painting I call In the Spotlight for obviously reasons and uh, you can see I got the detail on his t-shirt and the guitar is all lit up by the spotlight that kind of stuff. Uh, over here I've got, you might recognize the 47 Ford Coupe from my videos, and I got Jordan in there behind the wheel. Uh, when he was small, you know, he would sit in there and uh, act like he was driving and stuff, so it's kind of cute. Uh, put it in a vintage style garage here with some old signs, Texaco sign, Route 66, got your old oil sign, there's a Sky Chief sign, Texaco, Resto oil, you know. Uh, and then this over there, that was a 30 uh, Dodge D8 sedan that we owned up until uh, last summer when we sold that one. Um, let's see. Anyway, give you some idea. Over here is one I recently completed too. Uh, it's of a 1940s style uh, wind-up car. And I just like the, the nice clean look of those cars and that cool kind of aerodynamic styling. So I decided to do a little portrait of it. Kind of get an idea of that there. I don't know how, how well I'm focused here. But anyway. And then also out here I have uh, a bunch of paintings from my folk painting series here. And I've done a number of these. And like I said, they're spread out all over. But uh, I did keep a few for myself. And uh, this one's of a old 36 I believe uh, Chevy truck going through the country there got some farmhouses it's hard to get the detail in this light but there's people walking around cows in the field that kind of good stuff and um, basically with these I was going for sort of a uh, grandma Moses kind of feel uh, but maybe updated with some more modern bright kind of colors and uh, and they all have vehicles in them in mine uh, for obvious reasons, I you know I'm really into vehicles of all type and kind. Um, I'll see. I don't know how well these will show up. But I was just trying to give you an idea. There's a a 38 Chevy. Um, and he's kind of coming down a mountainside here. Got some. Uh, if there's better light, you can see a girl flying a kite there. People in boats. Uh, little cabin down there. Uh, these are all gloss varnished, so the light, if you don't have them in perfect light, it's pretty hard to capture these on film. Uh, and that's one of a 39 Ford pickup, rumbling through the country there. And you got your little farm scenes. And I always put a church and a steeple up there somewhere at the top of the painting. Uh, it's got a little trademark thing. And you have little touches like there's birds on limbs. If you look in the trees, there'll be a squirrel in the tree. All that kind of good stuff. Um, believe me, I realize this light's terrible. Uh, got a John Deere B tractor there. And more farm scenes. Uh, 36 Ford. Uh, and, you know, covered bridges, that kind of stuff. There's like a sort of Bridges of Madison County covered bridge with a... Ford F1, obviously we have one of those out here, and I decided to put that in the painting. There's water mills, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, obviously the cars are kind of the reoccurring theme here. And uh, depending on the style I was going for, 
you know you might have clouds like this that are more folk style uh, and then sometimes I lean towards a bit more realistic kind of sky like this uh, it just depends on the mood I'm at the time kind of playing around with it um, this is a Pontiac uh, from the late 40s I believe it's called a Silver Streak if I remember and little touches like I've got the cat walking down the the old uh, barn uh, farm fence here and a little it's going after the cat's going after the bird there um, got people fishing horses you know typical farm scene kind of stuff and these churches if you could see uh, they have stained glass windows in them that kind of thing uh, but anyway and I'm just showing you a quick little tid you know bits and pieces got the granny's apple farm with the little stand where they sell their apples people out picking flowers and an old Ford there turn down the road uh, let's see here got a farm scene here with the Model T style delivery truck and uh, if you can see it says making hay farms on it and that guy's taking off to make a delivery I suppose and uh, and and then there's you know some divergent kind of styles where got the, got the old barn and with the windmill that kind of stuff uh, I try to fit our cars in there this is the rear view of the 38 Dodge D8 sedan we had uh, going down the road there and here's something a little different it's just a you know sort of a little red barn that I kind of pictured was that somebody converted into a cabin and to live in and it's kind of a moonlit night you can kind of see the silhouette of the trees in the background that kind of stuff uh, anyway but I just thought I'd uh, give you a quick look at some of the paintings and uh, give you some idea of what I've been up to and um, I'm posting another video as well uh, that shows some of my guitars that I've built and in the future here if I can get him to let me I'll probably show some of Jordan's inventions because he's always building uh, all types of things and a lot of gun related stuff that you might find interesting and some steampunk style devices and things like that so uh, as the days wind on uh, we'll do some more of those and uh, but I just wanted to give you a little peek into my life here and I'll see you guys later bye